Governor Nome has long been considered a possible candidate for president in 2024, but has refuted any interest in the job for years. Fresh off her inauguration this weekend, the governor seems to be changing her tone and approach on that conversation. Last week, she took shots at one of the front runners for the Republican nomination in 2024. As State House reporter Austin Goss explains from Pierre, it could mark the beginning of a long campaign for the governor. Defying COVID lockdowns skyrocketed Governor Kristi Noem to the top of presidential conversations in 2020. The election's over. I think it's a fair speculation to say she's now running for national office. And while the governor has enjoyed relative popularity amongst Republicans across the nation since, the shine has worn off some. Last week, conservative publication National Review did a piece about what they see as Noem's lackluster record on transgender issues. What I found was that the South Dakota legislature and, and, and South Dakota uh, governor's office had basically failed to pass almost any transgender bill, including a lot of kinds of bills that we've seen in other red states. It's that article that prompted Noam to take unprompted shots at Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is seen as a front runner for president in 2024. In a statement, her spokesperson Ian Fury compared the two's record on abortion. Florida allows abortion up to 15 weeks, where South Dakota has effectively banned it. DeSantis's office did not respond to Nome, nor to request for comment. Uh, the reception was almost uniformly negative. I mean, uh, to your point, the, the kind of conservatives who, who are, are fans of Gnomes are also fans of DeSantis, and they don't like to see the sort of one going after the other, particularly when there really was no sort of prerogative or, or uh, reason uh, for that, other than, um, you know, kind of an unprompted show of resentment from Gnome's office. Shortly after, Gnome telling Fox News that she would consider a presidential run in 2024 a departure from her previous thoughts on the idea. She, she did assert that she wanted to be governor of the state of South Dakota, and yet we see out of nowhere her spokesperson Ian Fury attacking Governor Santis, DeSantis. And why would you do that unless you're trying to set yourself above them? Prior to inauguration on Saturday, Noam hosted a high dollar fundraiser in the Pier area. Further indication that she may want to make the jump from Pier back to Washington. In Pier, Austin Goss, Dakota News Now. Dakota News Now did reach out to Governor Nome's office, but we have yet to hear back.